Greetings fans of Tech Syndicate. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade your video card's cooling with a closed loop liquid cooling radiator. Now, what we're going to use today is the NZXT Kraken X40 and the NZXT G10 adapter plate. Now, strictly speaking, the Kraken X40 is a 140 millimeter closed loop water cooling solution for CPUs. So when you buy the Kraken X40, it's going to come with all the mounting hardware, accessories, and adapters necessary to mount it to your computer's CPU. So if you just buy the Kraken X40, it'll come with a bracket for you know a Haswell CPU that's socket 1150, 1155, 1156, or 2011 on the Intel side or uh, all the appropriate adapters on the AMD side for, you know, like an 8350 or, uh, you know, an, uh, an FM2 uh, CPU, you know, pretty much anything you can think of. This is a, li a closed-loop liquid CPU cooler. But that G10 adapter will allow you to use the CPU cooler on your GPU. Now, the G10 adapter is a metal plate that's got a place to mount a fan so that you can still have air cooling for your VRM and your RAM and your other components that are on your GPU that, that will run hot. But the uh, adapter uh, makes it so that you can use the Kraken X40 um, CPU cooler with the actual GPU chip on your GPU. And that's where most of the heat comes from. So we're going to take a look at disassembling a graphics card, taking the existing you know cooler off of it, mounting the uh, Kraken X40 and the adapter plate to the card. Now the first thing we've got to do is release the Kraken from its box by unboxing it. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Um, so it turns out that this is um, it's like the NZXT coolers are based on um, Aztec, uh, an Aztec design. Um, and if you look at the box for the G10, it's compatible with the Kraken X60 and the Kraken X40, but there are other coolers on the market that are based on that same Aztec design. And so, um, you know, there are some coolers from Corsair, Antec, Thermaltake, and Zalman that are compatible with the G10. If you've already got a liquid cooler or maybe an older liquid cooler you want to reuse, you know, check out the NZXT website for the full compatibility list. But in our case, we're going to use the uh, Kraken X40 because it's a, you know, proven 140 millimeter cooler. So we're going to use it with this particular GPU upgrade. Now, in the box, there's a fan that's designed to mount to the G10 adapter metal plate so that you can get some air cooling on your graphics card. There's a mounting hardware, uh, and there's a mounting plate that will go on the back of your video card. And then there's some zip ties for cable management and some instructions. So we're just going to take all that out of the box here. So the next thing to do is to... Uh, take the instructions out and give them a good and thorough read you're basically disassembling your video card so it's it's a little bit intimidating uh, of a process but just know that the way that video cards are typically constructed the shroud is usually mechanically attached to the card and then the cpu cooler itself the heat sink is usually a different set of screws and a different mechanical uh, attachment and so in our case we're looking at an AMD graphics card here there's uh, screws um, for the the shroud those are coming out um, right now and there's also screws on the little sort of square adapter plate and those are for the cooler that's actually mounted on the GPU chip itself now one thing that, that's bad about this upgrade is that with certain GPU manufacturers, it does void the warranty when you take off the shroud and the cooler. So there may be stickers over some screws or things like that. Look for that before you start this process, before you go buy stuff, if you're not comfortable voiding the warranty of your video card. But if you want, you know, icy cool temperatures on your video card, uh, you're going to have to do this. Once you get all the screws out, very, very gently remove the shroud. When you do, pay attention because there may be thermal tape. It's like paste. It's a thermal material, but it's almost like a thick, spongy tape. Um, there may be some of that, and that's what we've encountered here. And so just very carefully sort of lift it off and put it back on your heat sink. Um, you'll want to hang on to that because eventually you may need to put this cooler back on your graphics card. So in our case, the thermal tape was used to cool the RAM systems. You can see the, the uh, GPU chip, uh, the, the remnant in the thermal paste. And then there were also some VREGs uh, or MOSFETs or something at the front of the card um, that also touched the, uh, the, the, the cooling shroud. So um, those components are going to be cooled by the fan that's on the uh, metal bracket on the G10 adapter. But the GPU chip itself is going to be liquid cooled. 
One thing I like to do is um, when you take all the screws out of something like this and you're going to have it in a drawer for a while, just go ahead and put the screws back in. It's a really convenient, easy way of making sure that you don't lose all the screws by the time you need them. Going a little Bob Ross on you, but you know, I, when I'm in th at this stage of disassembly, I sort of like to look at it and say, oh, look, those are some nice, happy capacitors. They're just, they're just hanging out right there. And oh, there's some MOSFETs and some resistor packs and a couple of surface mount transistors. They're all just happy hanging out there. Now the next thing with our liquid cooler, the thermal paste is pre-installed. So we want to really carefully clean off the thermal paste from the GPU chip. Now you've got to be really careful here because those little things around it are actually components that have been soldered in place. So if you're too rough with your paper towel or the paper towels bearing down on those other components, you could actually rip off a capacitor or resistor or whatever those happen to be. So be really careful here. Now it comes time to release the other Kraken, the Kraken X40. We just need to unbox it real quick. This comes with all kinds of hardware for CPUs, but none of that matters to us. Although you should save it in case you ever decide to reuse this later with a CPU. All right, this should be the final set of components that we need to put everything together. You can start with mounting the fan to the NZXT um, G10 GPU bracket. That's probably the easiest thing. And you want it to, at least in my case, I want it to blow onto the graphics card. So I'm going to mount it this way in order to do that. Now the next thing we've got to do is actually physically attach the X40, the Kraken X40, to the Kraken uh, G10 adapter plate and the graphics card. So in order to do that, um, you have to assemble the standoff pins and the NZXT uh, backplate bracket. So you get this metal backplate bracket that is going to go on the back of your GPU. And then you've got these little plastic washers and standoffs that will be there with it. Um, and then those pins go through the graphics card and through the G10 mounting plate. And that's what your thumb screws connect to. And so the, GP, the Kraken X40 will sort of lock into place on the bracket. And then the whole thing will be screwed to the graphics card, and this backplate gives it some mechanical structural stability. It can be a little tough to get the X40 to lock in there just right, but the directions recommend having the liquid cooling uh, and wiring coming out the top of the graphics card, and that'll give you some room to route the cabling through the back of the card. And that's what we're going to do here. Now, at this point, with our cables all routed and everything mounted on this card, we are ready to put it back in our system. Now, we've got a video coming up where we're actually going to put this and a dual 140 millimeter radiator, an NZXT Kraken X60, in the NZXT Phantom 530 full tower ATX case. Click below to be taken to that video. Now, so you may be wondering, what kind of a difference did this make for our temperatures? Well, I'll give you a little preview. Check out the Phantom 530 build video for a full overview. But the short version is, this card that we chose was a 6870 and AMD 6870, which is not the hottest card in the world, but it runs, it, it can get pretty toasty. And it had the stock AMD cooler. So using A to 64 GPU stress test, the temperature would hover around 50, 51 degrees C, although at times it would spike to 55, 56, something like that. And then I think the case fans would ramp up and the, the case would cool off and so it would get a little cooler. But let's say, you know, 50 degrees average. With the Kraken G10 and the Kraken X40 liquid cooling adapter, the temperature never got above 39 degrees C. It was 39, 40 at peak. I find that kind of temperature dif differential to be pretty impressive. So I would love to take this for a spin on a really high-end graphics card like a 290X. So if you want to see us do it, tweet at AMD that they ought to send us a 290X so we can play with it. All right, thanks. Until next time. Mm -hmm.